not gonna lie, I think it's about time we hightailed it the fuck about this place, bro. Phew! I knew it. I mean, I didn't really know it. I thought Jit was gonna have like a, you know, extra jump scare at the end. Wait, did I take that bitch? Wait, I just realized I still got that man's lit in, bro. Where is he at? Is he gonna be in Lugano City? Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Unbreakable Ties. The orphanage right in front of us is a very dangerous place. Blah, 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 blah. Never mind. He just saw me come out that bitch, bro. But yeah, we're back in this bitch. We finally got out the Haunted Tower or Haunted Orphanage. And now we're going into Lugano City to see what the hell we can find up in there up in that bitch because apparently everybody is meeting up over there so i hope y'all enjoy if y'all do watch this fight right over here because this dumb is apparently a dirty otaku it's not even a dumb bro it's a nigga called pedro what the fuck hold up this stupid nigga instead of attacking me he gonna use power swap get your dumb ass up out of here bro Power swap face dash. You look like a power swap, nigga. Hold on. Oop. I got a whole Rotom out in this bitch. All right, cool. The legendary Nick Dickhead himself that was supposed to be downstairs inside the orphan. You know, I should actually catch you, bro. Hold on. Please don't tell me that's not gonna work. Imagine I catch the fucking like brother Hex. Really? I feel vexed that you use Hex on me. That's all I fucking thought. All right, let me see if I can go use this little shit. Let me call him that. Let me see. What's good, bro? Little shit. Let's see if we can use this little shit downstairs in that one orphanage. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. What the fuck? What, what, what would I use this bitch for? Uh, this? Sure. C. He wants to learn air slash. Nice. Uh, let's get this shit up out of here. Cool, cool, cool. So we got a fan form Rodom. Oh, I should have got the grass form. Nah, never mind. Oh, it would have been some bullshit. All right, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna keep him on the team for a little bit. See how see how he pops off. And then if anything, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get up out of here. Chill on me, bro. You ain't got to do any of this, bitch. I learned that little knockoff move. You gotta knock it off. I ain't trying to learn that bullshit. What the fuck is? Oh, there we go. An actual move. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I think I want to learn some good moves. Cool, cool, cool. Two. Chill out. Two. Two, bitch. Dragon Pulse. I never heard of. I never heard of this nigga knowing Dragon Pulse. What the fuck? I'll take Drain Punch up. I'll take Drain Punch up out of there. I don't really need that. I mean, I did like the HP that you um like get out of people, but hey. What the hell? Grievard. Chill, bro. Chill, chill, chill. I'm gonna make a grievous mistake. I am. Stop popping them. What the fuck? Nigga had a repel on him the whole time. I see you. He's getting annoyed with these goddamn Pokemon too. And these trainers. And this random wood that I can get from this goddamn tree. What the fuck? And an Ultra Ball. Alright, come on. Let's keep going. What the hell? There's that one jit. You know, should I even give him this shit after what he did to fucking... Yeah, after what that nigga did to goddamn... What do you call it? Shadow on him? Yo, go away, bro. Yo, so should I even give this nigga his litten after what he did to Shadow and them? Oh, what's good, bro? That's my little one. I can't believe it. It's back. <laughs> was being in there as terrifying as people say? I'd rather not talk about it. I see. Guess you don't want to talk about it. Anyways, I'm in a hurry about uh, some execution. I hope we can meet, um, meet again. Yo, I'm about to steal that fucking litten from you. I'm not going to use that bitch. It's going to stay inside. Wait, hold on. Is there anything here? Yeah, it's gonna stay inside the PC, but it'll be in better hands than being in the fucking hands of scum like that nigga. I don't know if he's pro he's probably like a genuine human and not one of those bots, but hey, you never know with these niggas, bro. Like this shit right here. Fuck out of here. Easy. Da -da 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 -da. A 
another cave? What is this? Wait, what? The magnetism cave? Hmm. Be prepared to be shocked. First of all, I got something for your stupid ass magnetism cave, dickhead. Chill out with this shit, bro. Yeah, this is one type of song. Hold on. First of all, what kind of shits do they have inside here? Hey, oh, they ain't got nothing crazy in here. They only got a couple of bugs. Mmm, some steel niggas. You know what? I know what to do. Oh, wait, I don't even need to do all that. All I gotta do is this. Wick, come on out. Wait, hold on. What does Wick know? First of all, chill, 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 chill right there, Wick. Wick knows Inferno? Nigga, hold up. You, there's no Fire Fang. Oh, you, you can learn Fire Fang? This nigga can't learn Fire Fang? That's crazy. And he a fire type? That's odd. Hmm. Yeah, you're not cutting it, nigga. I don't, I don't give a damn if you a fire type. Wait. Little shit, what are you doing? Hold on. You're an electric flying type? Hmm. I'm gonna keep you on the team. Bruh. I could give a damn if you a fly if you a sight um. I could give a damn if you a shiny, bro. You gonna have to bounce for a little bit, bro. Pause. Boom, boom. St stick right here. You got a good, you got a good looking sprite, but we don't. I don't need the cool looking shits right now. What's this? Oh, it's one of them. Sh it's one of these things. Let's see what I can find real quick. Wasted that. Okay, please, God. Phew, get this fucking pickaxe shit up on my face. Yo, what's this? Yo, bro, you good? Try, I've been trying to understand how those electromagnets work for a while. Forgot we had to do some shit like this earlier in the game. All right, boom, move that shit up out of my way. Wait, hold on. You got some shit over there. Let me go over there real quick. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me. Let me see what I can find inside here. Plus, I got an um, old amber, so it looks like we can get ourselves an aerodactyl. Hmm. Thank God I got you on the team, brother. Why do you know that bullshit, bro? For a fucking spider. Get up out here, man. Dumbass scientist. Oh, uh, what's this? Bing! Easy. I don't know why that shit says smash. It should be called force palm. Yo, bitch. I f swear to you. I feel like I'm hearing goddamn, like, Minecraft mob sounds mixed with, like, Pokemon, bitch. Because I swear, I, I just heard, like, one of them goddamn, like, Minecraft zombies just hiss in my ear. How about we take home some jewels? What? Thieves? Hello, are you here to explore the cave? I've been searching for hidden treasure in this cave for a while. Bitch, I ain't got time for that shit. Cells. Nigga, do I look like the type of nigga that's into, like, science right now, bro? I gotta head, head over to Lugano City. I see what they talking about over there. You feel me? What was this? Oh, push this shit out the way. Go up here. Wait, hold on. Oh, this nigga want to bump? Nigga, chill out, bro. I need I need money. I need bread, too. You want to send out a goddamn mini or to try to fight me? Wait, it's a flying type. Am I correct? Chill out, bro. Chill, chill, chill. Ooh, that don't do much, huh? Hmm. That don't do shit to you either? All right, hold on. I got something for you. Yeah, now you're starting to tilt me, bro. Chill out. Um, mm, 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 mm. Use the shit on you, dickhead. Hmm. Chill out, please don't kill me, bro. I did nothing to deserve this, bro. Please. Fuck out of here. Goddamn old nigga. Your job, bro. Thank you, ma'am. Much appreciated. What the hell? Thought that clink was trying to bump. Hold up. Yo, go back. Chill. Can I go down here? Hmm, apparently not. What if I go over here? Ooh, it actually works. And then I go down here, right? Wait, what? This nigga over here, he's gonna want to fight me. Wait, what the hell? Did I not go the right way? Hmm, guess not. A few hours before Derek was captured. Ah, Damn, we lost him. Nigga, why are you moaning and groaning like that, nigga? 
We've been looking for him all night. It's not fair. I'm sure he had. Um, I'm sure he went towards the cemetery. Wait, what? Huh? Your Majesty? Something wrong? Blade has been captured. You can cancel your search. Who's Blade? They found him. We saw him running away not too long ago. I don't know what you're talking about. But it was my own daughter who captured him in the palace. Wait, what? And what the hell have we been looking for then? Don't talk to me about your insignificant lives. Return to the palace immediately. Damn, bro. What happened? I don't know what just happened. But Blade was captured in the palace. How's that possible? We saw him up close and we weren't drunk. At least, not completely. Wait, what? Man, who the hell did they capture? Oh, that's Ditto. Damn. Boy, I was about to say, Ditto almost got caught lacking. That boy tripping. <laughs> this nigga Ditto, he mad as fuck. And now he's sad as fuck. Ditto, what you about to do? Alright, Ditto, we'll do the following. I'll sneak into the royal palace, but I'll do it without you. You pretend to be me and act as a decoy to give me some cover. <laughs> damn you. Wait, no, it's not really damn you. It's damn them. Well, I mean, it's damn that one chick because she's seen through my goddamn, like, plan. Good one, ditto. <laughs> Even though the eyes are a little bit disturbing, but... As soon as they recognize you, run, run, and run. Don't even think about turning back. No matter what happens, even if they catch me, don't come back to help me. Chill out, Ditto. <laughs> That's right. I won't let you take any more risks than you already are exposing yourself like that. Shit, that boy hopped the fence, too. Hey, hey, buddy. Isn't that Blade, the crazy killer with a huge bounty on his head? Hmm. Oh, shit, that is him. We have to catch him. Oh shit, that boy hopping. Ooh, and he hopped the same shit too? Attention, all units. We have found the so-called blade in front of the palace gate. Everyone who can, come. I'll leave the door open for you to get out. Damn. Now he out of there. Wait, what? He didn't see him coming through? Alright, come on. Go, go, Derek. And Derek was captured right after that too fortunate ditto Derek got captured bro i'm sorry in a few hours after ditto escaped from the royal palace's pursuit the long-awaited execution of commander vesta has begun 12 a.m oh shit so her execution is happening in goddamn lugano city latias land in that park Hey, we in this bitch. Latias, return to your human form. They might be looking for us too. And you're way too noticeable like that. Alright, Latias, let's see what you got. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's very normal to see two identical people on the street. Hmm. Hey, that's cute, that's cute. They're twins now. Twinsies. Alright, fine. Let's go get your stupid ice cream. What? Is the execution of... Commander Vesta starting already? Yeah, we all have to attend or they'll find us or something worse. No kidding, nigga. That won't do. Damn, so they going to like find people for like not watching the goddamn execution? Rodolfo? Oh shit. Him and Vesta were tight. Ida. Let's leave the ice cream for another time. I want to attend the execution. What did you say? Chill. Ida! He dead ass. If you don't come with me, I'll go alone. Damn, he's dead ass. What cutie fly bit? What cutie fly bit his ass? Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. We'll have to go after him. That kid is capable of doing anything. We can still catch him. Let's go. Damn. Yeah, he's real serious about that shit. Oh, shit. We're here, Rodolfo. 
Oh, yeah, that is the lady from the Cardinal City. Wait, is he talking about I want to play too? What are they doing? What is the little guy talking about now? Silence, everyone. Oh, shit. The king has slept. Everybody's there to see the execution. Holy Christ. Once a year, as you know, we execute someone who is... We execute someone in person who has rebelled against the royal family to show our power. This year, we have the honor of executing one of our best slaves who turned her back on us a few days ago. It is Commander Vesta. What the hell are you doing? Clap already. Bruh, like, who the fuck would want to clap for that? Wow. For an occasion like this, we have some of the best people witnessing this scene. On one side, we have Sophie and Aldrich, our best butlers. The Almighty, Elite Four, along with Bijou, Angie Stones, and Yang. Who's Yang? Oh, Yang Lao. He never shows up to any of my events because nobody wants to see that shit. I can't help but laugh. <clears throat> and then we also have our commanders, Kaleo, Kaleo, and Maji. <laughs> Face ass nigga. Tama, I can't believe it. She can't help but laugh too. Nobody's here. Nobody's taking this shit serious, Mr. Henry. Damn dirty blooded. Damn dirty blooded ninja. She failed and hasn't even come to apologize. Majime. Silence, everyone. Finally, we have Brenda, the chief of the Infernal Akebia prison. Our greatest executioner couldn't miss this. Yeah, 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 bitch. Vesta broke the rules of, of my territory and injured my lieutenant, Akapito. It will be a pleasure to witness this execution. Damn. On the other hand, my wife was supposed to be here, but she had few things to attend to. She, could, um, she couldn't come to this. Who's his wife? I bet you it's fucking um, Camellia or whatever the fuck her name is. And now our most important guest, blah, 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 champion of the region. Oh, that's his son. Oh, that nigga. <laughs> Yeah, that's me. Has the execution ended already? I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Ugh. Face that's nigga. He doesn't seem like anyone special, so to speak. Are they really going to execute the old lady with the broken back? Rodolfo. <laughs> Father, can I go now? We haven't even cut her head off yet. What are you waiting for then? Cut her head off already? Cut her head off already. I want to go to sleep. You're wasting my damn time. Oh, that's crazy. Is this real? Is he serious? Someone so lazy with such a cold heart? Capable of taking someone's life without remorse? Is he really the champion of Akebia? I... I can't allow this. I Ida. Please, Ida, please. Think. <laughs> you have Latias right there. King Henry. You gotta do... I Ida. They should get her down from there. Look what they're going to do. What are they about to do? Oh, shit. Bit sharp. Hold on. Blaziken need to come in. Blaziken need to come through and kill this nigga, bro. Hold on. So this is what happens when you rebel against the royal family, eh? That's not true. What the hell? <laughs> I hate when this nigga say this shit. I did the right thing. Right, mom? Wait, what? Backstory. More than 10 years ago, when Vesta was still a child. Vesta was born and raised in Lugano City, the great capital of Akebia, the richest place in, in the country. However, for her it wasn't so easy. She had a rather busy life. This part of the city is so beautiful. We should come here more often, don't you think? Aww, she had a cute little slazzle. We're so lucky that mom gave us the money to go buy some ice cream. It was very delicious. However, she never gets anything for herself. And she got three bullies. You sewer rat! What are you doing in this part of the city? Go back to your poorer neighborhood. That's right, demon's daughter. You don't deserve to be here. What did you call me? Demon, you're a demon. What the hell? And your mother too. Damn. You gonna roast the moms too? Silent it, attack! Oh shit. Stupid ass kids, bro. I swear I hate these damn kids. 
Yo, this backstory is sad, bro. No shot. They deserved it. At that time, even Lugano City was very religious, and Vesta was bullied daily for her reddish hair. Unfortunately, Vesta's mother couldn't find any alternatives and had to settle for a humble house in the worst neighborhood in Lugano City. That was because her husband abandoned her after the birth of her daughter, and she worked in the prostitution industry. Damn. A few days after the incident at the park, something happened. Mom, the ice cream was delicious. Although, I would have loved for you to come. I'm glad you had a great time, honey. Ah, oh, shit. No, wait. I promise I'll take you wherever you want to go. Where would you like to go? Damn. Something crazy is about to happen, bro. She want to go to the art gallery. She wants to go to the art gallery. And the Cardinal City Aquarium. Cardinal City? Hmm. They both laugh. Mother Ruby? Damn. Talking about some open the door right now. Mommy? Give me a second, honey. We'll continue our talk later. Who's this? The police. Vesta's mother. Oh, he's corrupt. I regret to inform you that your daughter hit the son of a multimillionaire businessman. What? Silence, you insignificant rat. How dare you raise your voice to... Ugh, I hate niggas like this, bro. What right do you have to complain, sewer rat? Your daughter is going to learn a lesson. Oh my goodness, bro. This shit is dark. This one's been bribed to get revenge on my daughter. I won't be able to get rid of him. Step aside right now. I'm warning you. You will not lay a hand on my daughter. Oh shit. What's about to happen, bro? That man shook. No, bro. No. What, what did you just say? M mommy? Come on, I'm ready to, to settle your accounts. Damn, rat. You asked for it, wretch. I won't be as gentle as I would have been with your daughter. Wait, what? Prepare to suffer. And so Vesta witnessed her mom being beaten over 100 times? Damn, bro. Despite, she ended up being hospitalized. Fuck. 100 times. Really? So sorry, I should have cut my hair so that they would leave me alone. Don't say that, honey. I know none of what happened was your fault. You're beautiful just the way you are with that long hair. You have to let it grow. You're the most beautiful and lovely girl in this world. Aw, that's why she said that earlier in the game. So beautiful, bro. And don't worry about my condition. Your mother is a very strong woman. And she probably didn't survive. Oh my god, look at the smile, bro. Fuck. Remember one thing, darling. She's dying literally right now, bro, as we speak. It's always something, something. I, I didn't read that part, I'm sorry. I was too focused on, like, what's going on. And <laughs> trying not to cry. I'm sure that someday you'll find your purpose and we'll find we all find a way to leave a mark on this world sooner or later we must try to be remembered for something good when you for something good when your final day comes through as for your happiness you must fight for those who matter to you the most part of our happiness is based on making others happy i mean that's that's how i feel about making youtube videos for y'all think about it honey what kind of purpose will Oh, shit. My mom, are you okay? Mom oh, damn, man. She's out like a light. Ah, oh, fuck. Her condition was worse due to her lung problems by tobacco. And... Ruby. She had to say goodbye to life without being able to finish the conversation with her daughter. Damn. So right there, really? Right in front of her? Vesto was orphaned and her house was foreclosed on. Her life changed overnight. A girl who was unable to make sense of the way of her life. Ah, oh, fuck. <sighs> the 
That's crazy as fuck. And she, damn, immediately started smoking. Sound like they even got shook. And the closest she could be was through tobacco. The only thing that truly stayed with her by her side was her precious Pokemon Sandlandit. And I destroyed that bitch like at least three times with pride too. It's crazy. Vesta spent two nights crying and trying to fall asleep. She tried to ask for money or at least some food, but no one wanted to take her in or even help her. She was still a demon to the rest of the city. Vesta finally stopped. She stopped feeling the pain from the beatings no longer affected her. I don't know why I read it like that, my fault. Uh, that's how, despite her mother's word, Vesta ended up choosing the path of survival. Hunger took over morality, and she started committing acts she would regret in the future. 